Alright, hello and welcome. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to try out some of the new maps I haven't even seen before. So we're starting off in a mirror. And this is my first time seeing it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm probably not going to talk too much this stream, but I do have some announcements. I uh, am upset about my Switch copy of the game. I uh, ran into that bug where the game randomly deletes my trucks from off the map. And so that makes me pretty sad. <laughs> it kind of makes me not want to finish hard mode anymore until that gets fixed. Because right now, it happened once, I had one truck get deleted, and that was a pretty expensive issue. But then it happened again after I'd bought back a truck, then more trucks got deleted the next time I, I saved and then loaded up the game a different session. So I don't know how to fix it. Um, I imagine it's a bug. I'm just going to have to wait for an update. But lucky for me, it hasn't happened yet on this save. Um, although it's less of a deal on PC because I can easily edit the game to give me more money. Um, I can always recover my vehicles after every single like play session to make sure they don't get deleted from the map. But again, it's heartbreaking. This is one of my favorite games. I had over 100 hours in that hard playthrough, so hopefully I can find a way to recover it and keep playing. Um, but here we are on PC. I'm just gonna explore and try out, you know, see what the missions are even like this map, see what the roads are like, so it's pretty exciting. Um, kind of like my first day with SnowRunner, exploring Michigan, this is an all new map to me. I get to learn the ins and outs, like I already found some deep mud. But I hope you enjoy, um, feel free to comment if you have anything to say, and I'll try to reply.
Hello, how's it going? I'm just starting this map off for the first time. See, so I've already explored everything, and my thought is I'm going to start building some bridges. Because a lot of this map is blocked off by uh, lack of bridges. So we're just going to start at square one, building the first bridge. Yeah, good challenge. I was surprised. I mean, I've been here for almost an hour just exploring and um, feels a lot like Kola Peninsula. Um, it almost feels like it's in the same region and how they did the ice and the deep rut mo roads stuff like that. And so um, I'm, I'm digging it so far like I like uh, Kola Peninsula like late COVID I spent a lot of time on on my other save. But yeah, it's been pretty good. I mean, I'm a little worried. Um, I have to do some planning on which routes to go for uh, avoiding deep mud when I'm actually doing deliveries, but uh, so far I'm optimistic that this is going to be a pretty good map. Um, something I did notice with all of the DLC maps, they tend to be uh, a bit, they feel rushed. They feel like there's like just a little bit less content, a little bit less polish on the design of each map, but it's still pretty good. Um, I think I'll always go back to the, the base game maps over and over because they're extremely well designed. Um, these ones are just a little bit more simple. Um, they do have more challenge, which is nice. So, overall, still a good value if people watching this uh, are on the fence about getting this game. I have over 200 hours just mainly in the, in the uh, base game, three regions. And I've bought this game like three times now, so <laughs> definitely a good one. Twice as many regions as the others. That's interesting, yeah. Quantity of missions and variety seems a little better on this map. Um, some of the other maps just have more stuff needed or more setup, like uh, having the generator or uh, just delivering a, a bajillion uh, items in some of them. This one just seems more like the base game, pretty straightforward. What am I doing? Metal rolls, that's what I'm doing. Alright, time to go do this one at a time. I probably should have gotten a trailer, I don't know what I was thinking, because two metal rolls only converts to one metal beam. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to run out of fuel by the time I get back from this, so... Oh well. I didn't even get to the landslide. You have 800 hours in this game, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, for me, um... I'm probably around 250, and that's a lot for me, considering I was in graduate school last year, and um, looking at my Steam library, my most played game is still Arma 3 with like 260 hours, and that came out eight years ago. So having one game where I play hundreds of hours is very rare. It says a lot about how good this game is. Maybe someday I'll, I'll reach 800 hours. It's completely possible with how much I've been playing. Like I said, the Switch version came out, what, like two months ago? In April, I think? And, uh, maybe three months? 
I am. Um, I already have like over 100 hours on hard mode. So that's a lot for me considering all the stuff I've been doing. Well, I haven't hit this uh, ice plane before. Let's go make mistakes. See if I can survive in it. Oh yeah, this is... yeah, I can go this way. But yeah, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I um, on the Switch version, I hit the bug that deletes your trucks randomly if they're out on the map. And so every time I, I load the game, there's a good chance more trucks will get deleted, so I always have to store them now. Hopefully they'll patch that. Um, and it didn't hit me until around 100 hours, so I don't know what causes it. I started um, digging through the forum threads and uh, game files to try to understand why it happens. But uh, I have no idea how to fix it permanently. So I'll wait for a patch. Yeah, I, I've been lucky because I've been playing this game since it came out on PS4 and then on PC. And then finally on Switch, and it, it took until... <laughs> this is a bad way to go. It took until um, over 200 hours until I finally got that bug, so... Hopefully they'll patch it on Switch. <laughs> uh, well, it was worth a shot. I figured I could try to just gun it. Yeah, PC had it a year ago. I, that's what I find when I look up forum uh, threads. A lot of the people, though, said back then it would like either make their trucks invisible but still try to store them. What's interesting is if I dig around in the files, um, like if I extract my save file, on Switch it's a little more complicated, but I can extract it, and just like on PC... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let that go. Um, on PC, you can just look at your save data, but on Switch you have to extract it first. It's a big complicated process, but I did learn some things about um, in the save file. My save file is like 200,000 lines long, and I don't know if that's normal. Um, because I think each time I would save without doing much else, it would get like a lot longer. So it might be a bug where it's writing a bunch of extra information or overwriting stuff it doesn't need to. Um, it was a lot to sift through. Like sometimes when I would load, it would have my trucks still in my save file, but they were like not given any position. So it said I own the truck, but not like it deleted the um, parameter of where it exists and like its damage values and all that so so if you go to your um, like yeah if we look at the profile here it'll say here's all your trucks so it show up here but it wouldn't show up on the on the map in my save file because basically that section that describes your truck and where it is and the state of it, it was just gone it got deleted somehow um, and I haven't figured it out because I, I did a bunch of testing and, um, oh, you had the duplicate trucks one. Yeah, I've never had that. But, like, um, oh, you know what's interesting? Some of my testing, when I finally gave up, um, I, I actually got a duplicate truck by messing around with it, <laughs> which is bizarre. And, again, I don't really know for sure what's going on. But what happens is, if the game saves, I was testing, like, how long from when it saves, if I quit the game, like, what happens. And what's interesting is a lot of the time... It seems to be like an interesting state-based thing where if my truck... Oh yeah, I forgot to get a trailer. Um, yeah, I'm not paying attention. Let me recover. Um, if my truck had been... Like, like, for example, my most recent time, I took a Fleet Star, I finished a mission, it saved, I waited a few seconds, then I quit. And when I loaded back up, my Fleet Star still existed, but it was back about maybe a one minute drive of where I had been before the save had occurred. So I didn't lose any trucks, but it still had that I had completed the mission. My truck, um, the state of my truck was still lagged back like a minute in the past. So it still had the same amount of fuel it had at that minute. Um, and it still had, like, I'm trying to remember, like whatever I had with me was still there. It was just really weird. So I think what happens is 
it just really when it says it's saving it's really taking it's starting to save and even when the icon disappears it's like either really slow or, or it gets corrupted in the process and stops prematurely so that not all the information gets saved that's my current theory so i don't think there's a way i can fix it without them fixing it uh from the developers unfortunately um but yeah that's that's my theory right now um i it happened a few times so like if i switch regions and then it saves and i quit or you know or, or if i just like force quit um then I'll, that's m the most consistent way i can get my trucks to disappear permanently oh this doesn't have everything wait a minute where's oh there it is um yeah so it's just a really weird bug I'm trying to think if I ever had duplicates other than recently. I guess not. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever had anything really go wrong majorly other than the flying bug that everyone gets. I had a, a P12 flip over and it was just so heavy that when I tried to lift it, even with a crane, it would end up uh, glitching into the ground and then going flying. So, and that was on hard mode, so I ended up having to, re to just eat the cost and recover it. Mission, I help you with the start of this map. Um, yeah, sure. Let me know. Like, uh, is there... Uh, yeah. Yeah, what's the name of the mission? I have no idea. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I'm doing this one. Bridge to the warehouse. So my thought was I'm gonna go get four rolls, convert it to metal, get bridge to the warehouse, and then just keep going back and forth to get the rest of the, the metal to do the rest of these that need metal. Um, potentially whatever the landslide is. I, I couldn't even reach the landslide in my um, tower to ramp because I just slipped on this little ridge here. So I, should, I could always just look it up later what the landslide needs and then do that next time. But yeah, go ahead and tell me if you know it. What the uh, what's helpful here? I'm probably doing it a very slow way. Let's see, with 800 hours, you probably 100%ed this game by now. Warehouse Troubles. It gives you steel beams. Oh. oh, that's the one that's in the warehouse. Oh, I thought that was just a rescue mission. Okay. And I don't even think I grabbed it. Thanks. Alright, well, I'll go see what's up and uh, might as well take my trailer with me. Thanks for that. Yeah, I think you're like one of my only followers that I don't know from Twitch or from real life, so appreciate you uh, stopping in. Let me know. Usually I, I just leave my game in uh, co-op, but this morning it's like I started playing at like 6 a.m. <laughs> my time, so I figured none of my friends were awake, so I didn't bother putting it in co-op. But uh, if you ever want to jump into co-op, just let me know. This save file that I stream tends to be my, my co-op save where I don't really care too much about getting extra help. It just makes it more fun. Yeah. Do you know if... Um, I couldn't ever find any solid information on this, but I have a, I've been testing it. I have a theory. But do you know if... Uh, some of the cosmetic bars for bumpers actually do prevent damage, or is that completely cosmetic? Because um, I feel like they have like collision that prevents your engine from getting hit if you use a front bumper. But um, I haven't found anyone online that confirms that. I think it may just be like me imagining it. Because um, I've done some testing with it, it seems to work. But um, someone needs to do like a breakdown of which ones are actually worth it. And if no one else does it, I might end up making a video on it. Uh, just testing all the different bumpers with a, a set testing system to see which ones prevent damage effectively. I guess some of the cosmetics are useful, like if you want extra lights, like floodlights, um, that's a pretty obvious thing. But everything else just seems cosmetic besides bumpers and lights.
I mean, I have so many hours in this game, I figure I, I should get the most out of every option. And uh, I just don't see a lot of people testing cosmetics. I already forgot, what was this mission? Lower rockers, drag more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, yeah. So I usually avoid lower ones. I, I can't even tell. I don't think I put anything on this one. This is like stock still. Oh, right. That's all the consumables got dropped. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm a like a game tester mentality when I play games. I like to break things or, or see what's possible, even if it's unintentional. Um, like there's a lot of little things that are not explicit in the game that you can do. Nice little tricks. Uh, a lot of physics-based stuff you can do, like um, winching an object towards you while you drive towards it, um, or drive away from it, from that matter to get some like weird physical effects to have the object push you even though that makes no sense from like Newton's laws <laughs> you're, you're pulling something toward you and it's pushing you backward even though you're the force that's acting on it so like stuff like that's pretty cool if you're in a, a tight position and you all you have is like a let's say a trailer you can detach the trailer and then just winch it to you and like push yourself backwards with it um, so I do that sometimes. There's lots of little things in this game that are kind of hidden like that, like uh, unintentioned mechanics. Map Runner, yeah. Yeah, I should read more of Map Runner. Sometimes I've looked up stuff to make sure I, I'm not missing any um, upgrades or trucks, make it a little bit more straightforward, especially for the streams. But um, I should see what else is on there. Usually I wait until I, I feel, like like with this map, I'm kind of in the middle. I've, I've gotten enough out of this game that I don't really mind spoilers that much. But at the same time, it does feel kind of nice to, to make mistakes from not knowing. It's kind of a fresh experience. So I kind of go both ways sometimes. <laughs> These mud tires, a lot of fun on the ice. It's like I, um, on the subreddit for SnowRunner, I get a lot of good information. People have broken down the uh, the tire breakdown. You've probably seen that. Um, so I use that often to look up tire ratings for the internal values rather than the word versions of them. Okay, I need to accept this mission. But yeah, there's some pretty good resources for this game. Um, I mentioned last stream, I actually started making a map, and I'm going to stream that sometime now that I know kind of the basics. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's always a safe thing with streaming especially, is um, go uh, give hints at the pace that the person wants. Oh, interesting. So it's just a, uh, I should probably read it. It's just um, a trailer I can drag behind me, yeah. It's like a curtain side, maybe? It's hard to see. Okay, well that's cool. Um, I think what I'll do... Hmm, yeah, I guess I'll just leave this here. I'm gonna run out of fuel pretty soon. On the way back, I mean. Alright, let's make a plan. Yeah, I'm gonna go the risky way, or somewhat risky. See if I can cut across that lake. I, I know with, um, so I gave this game to my brother, and then I had my friend buy it, so we've done co-op on stream. And, uh, you know, it's not their number one game or anything, they don't play it all the time, so... A lot of times my friend will just be like, I don't know, like, <laughs> give me a recommendation. It's fun for him, you know, to explore or to make mistakes trying to find a path, but usually he has trouble trying to pick a, uh, 
a specific mission that would fit well or or it, there's no reason like it, it doesn't feel fun to uh for example i remember my first time doing the um the oil rig mission in michigan and you need a high saddle for that and it was you know day one of the game they didn't tell you that you needed a high saddle so i drove all the way out there without a high saddle and then i had to go all the way back get a high saddle and come back so little things like that i feel like are good hints for people like oh you're headed to a mission that you can't even do and it's going to be a huge waste of time unless you come prepared uh... oh nice yeah i'm a. I don't have any kids but uh... i think that's a, a great way to play this game I, i've heard so many good stories of people playing with their kids i have some nieces and nephews i might get them into it but um... At that point, I might as well just play with my friends, because I play about as often with them. Like, uh, my niece has a Switch, so I might get this game for her at some point. Yeah, this is a fun little map. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Oh, <laughs> your son's grown up, yeah. Sorry, to assume uh, a child, like a, a young child. But yeah, this game, it's a keeper. It's uh, I'm glad they ported it to so many uh, platforms because um, it just gives more and more gamers an opportunity to play it. And uh, I, I played Spin Tires when it came out. And then Mud Runner when it came out, and so when this game was announced, it, it completely um, was my most anticipated game until it came out. So, uh, but I still don't have that many hours on Mud Runner. I ended up getting it for Switch to play it uh, mobily, so I probably played through the whole thing um, three or four times. Um, but I'm glad they they made so many better things in this game. Wow. Alright, well. You're still a, uh, a certified gamer. Any game, even if you only play two. That's all it takes. I, I call my mom a gamer. She plays uh, games on her phone. But, you know, if you think about it, they're all just... It makes us all gamers. We're all part of the same team, you know? My mom likes uh, Scrabble. Uh, she likes a lot of puzzle games and board games and stuff. Um, but uh, or like uh, Candy Crush, you know, those types of puzzle things. But I remember when I was a kid, actually, she would play a, at least a little bit of like Yoshi's Cookie for Game Boy, and even got her own Game Boy. So I think both my parents are like gamers that just it was never a big priority. It wasn't their main uh, pastime. So, like, they very casually played games and had appreciation for games, so they let us kids play games all the time, which I appreciated. Um, I attribute gaming to my interest in uh, programming, which is a great skill that helped me with my career. So, learned a lot from gaming. Oh, nice. Sounds like a good bonding time son building new computers. Yeah, my dad over the years has bought various uh, consoles, but he never likes to to get too into games anymore. He'll play like a session here or there, like a party game. Um, but uh, it's just not his main thing. You know, I'm thinking of uh, my grandfather, in some ways, also helped me get into games. I remember, um, like, some of my extended family would buy us kids games, like computer games. And, like, when I was a kid, we didn't have a lot of computer games. My dad would buy us, like, Sega CD or um, Sega Genesis games. But, uh, 
kind of nice to have people of all ages have an appreciation for games. It gives more diversity to the, the kinds of players you find. Like, um, uh, probably like 10 years ago I made some, some of my first online friends by playing online uh, shooters. And that's how my brother actually got into the military, because he made friends that were in the military. And uh, they got him in. So, a lot of life connections with online gamer friends. Um, which is why I stream. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to build, like, a huge audience or anything, but I've made some really, like, lifelong connections with my Twitch friends. And some of them, you know, just stream to a few people, do co-op and stuff. So I figure I should start. Um, now that I'm done with grad school, it's kind of been much easier to fit in some uh, streams. But yeah, sometimes, I mean, you've probably noticed since you follow me, but um, one of the things I like to do with this channel is I try to expose people to, to really obscure games, or games I recommend that are obscure. And um, I'm starting to see that much more on YouTube with my YouTube channel, is I'll play really obscure games that almost no one has made a video on, and then people can find it, get the content, learn about it, uh, because they do a Google search and my, my video comes up so they can see what the game's like. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, online gaming is a good way to connect with uh, family and friends that are wherever, far away. Um, that's how I connect with my brother still, because he has a family and I don't, and we live far apart. But yeah, same with uh, my friend who's on stream often. Uh, he got married and moved away, but we can still play online games. Alright, curtain side trailer should be pretty easy. Just gotta not run out of fuel. Yeah, sorry if my throat's a bit, um, I've got like a sore throat or something. <laughs> I'm like noticing I sound kind of weird. But, uh, I woke up real early this morning and I'm like, I feel in the mood for a stream. So that's what I'm doing. It's only been like an hour and a half. But usually my streams are about two, somewhere around two hours. Somewhere between like an hour and three hours every time. So I'll probably go for another hour. Yeah, a lot of streamers I like, um, they expose their audience to a lot of obscure games or other types of content, like they read things or show videos, discuss them. Yeah, like Twitch is pretty great that way in being kind of a modern medium of uh, not only entertainment but just information. Pretty cool, some of the stuff I've learned, people I've met just by being on Twitch. Um, and yeah, I definitely have many more old and obscure games I'm going to be playing in the near future. Um, got a few Japanese games, I've started learning Japanese, so instead of playing games and just figuring out what everything does, I can actually read what's going on. That'll be nice. At least some of it. But yeah, this game, pretty great. Oh yeah, yeah you don't like mods. I, um, I haven't even touched mods yet. On any of my games, because there's already so much content. Like, it, until I 100% every region they release for the game. There's not much reason to use mods. Um, 
Although, I've been thinking that I'm going to uh, make my own mods in a sense. I'm going to make my own maps. So I might do a showcase of people's maps sometime because that's something that I want to see in content and I haven't seen is people like raiding other people's maps or just seeing what they're about. And uh, if no one else is going to do it, I guess I'll have to do it myself start playing other maps. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not married, but I do have a date coming up, so <laughs> with any luck, sometime in the, in the next few years, I hope to get married. Just gotta keep dating, trying my best. Now that I'm not in uh, grad school, it makes it a lot easier to date. A lot more free time. Yeah, this game. I'm very um, into technical games, like very in-depth simulation games. So like, I like Arma 3, I like... Uh, what was the other one I was thinking? Um, I don't know, just simulation games. I, I played some American Truck Simulator on the stream. That's one of my favorites. I just feel relaxing, um, and I get to go back and forth between just turning my brain off while I play and just going with the flow and doing the opposite and like really tearing down the different mechanics of what's going on and glitching the game or, or finding fun things you can do. So uh, simulation just gives you lots of possibilities. Like in Arma 3, you can do a vast array of things. In fact, I think they both use the, the Havoc engine, if I remember correctly. And so, yeah, lots of fun physical interactions. And most people, funny enough, think of that game as a like a shooter, like an army shooter game. And most of my time playing the game is just messing with systems, um, doing interesting things to simulate uh, armies or vehicles or whatever. Oh, <laughs> well there you go. Yeah, I've only had bad experiences with um, like blind dates or uh, people trying to set me up. Um, but I do have someone right now that I just barely met that I think is a really good match. Um, I've had a lot of promising dating experiences throughout my my life, so I know what I want and need in a, a partner, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I've mentioned it on stream before, but I have um, a lot of unresolved health issues that I've been trying to get resolved with doctors, and uh, this person is very knowledgeable and compassionate about health stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't have to tiptoe around, uh, I don't really know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I have all these symptoms, but, um, turns out she has something very similar, potentially, and she has a diagnosis and treatment, so it gives me some hope that I can get this figured out this summer so I can get back to work in full-time instead of part-time. All right. Well, it was easy to go down that mountain, but I didn't think of how I was going to get back up, so... Ooh, I could try going under the bridge. Yeah, I can try this. Let's just see what's over there. Yeah, so I met this uh, current woman on a... Uh, a dating app. It's funny how in recent years I've been more and more open to like people I meet online. Um, just kind of how the way things work nowadays. And it's also, yeah, I'm, now I'm thinking of all the times people try to set me up. It's always been like completely wrong. Um, kind of funny. 
I think a lot of times my friends or my parents would try to set me up with someone they consider lonely. <laughs> like, well, this person's single and lonely, and you're single. <laughs> like, that's a perfect match. You can both not be single. <laughs> It's like, well, there's a lot of other things to consider for having um, someone you have to make decisions with and same goals in life and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, uh, I currently work adjacent to the medical field. Um, I do Alzheimer's research stuff. Um, and my degree is in psychology. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's probably no way I'm gonna make it up this way. Let's, I can't even see what is. Yeah, no, well, no, that's a cliff. I could. Oh, that is, yeah, this looks like the intended way. I guess I'll go back around. Well, I guess if I, if there's a tree up there, I could pull myself up the cliff. It doesn't look that steep. I wonder if I can go this other way. I'm so glad they added separating the winch button from the uh, winch detach from handbrake so that they're uh, separate buttons. It's my favorite update in a while because I, I play almost exclusively on controller. Ah, is this even going to be worth it? No. Because then I have to get around that tree that I'm winching too, and that's going to be a pain. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wasn't, uh, planning to do that. Oh well, I was almost out of fuel anyway. Let's, uh, actually... Alright, so I probably need this, uh, crane. Like you were saying, they give you a bunch of free metal. Then, um, I'll probably need the crane. Unless it's packed away, and I can auto-pack, but... I guess, I guess I'll play it safe and just bring the winch, or I mean the, the crane. I guess I'll go this way. I'm kind of curious if I can, uh, with this truck, make it to the landslide. Because my Tartaran struggled real bad on the ice. I might need to get some ice chains. Yeah, assessments. I'm trying to think. I guess for most assessments, I'm not like certified. Um, my kind of research is I'm a I'm a statistician. So other people collect the data, and I just do all the math for them. Which is rewarding in its own way. Um, there's no like cure for Alzheimer's and a lot of disagreement about what causes it, so there needs to be a lot of research to try to figure out what's going on. Um, although that's not what I do exclusively, like uh, I have some other kinds of research that I still collaborate with people in academia to uh, do research publications. I keep forgetting, is this a safe way to do this? I think last time I went that way. Let's see if this ice is thick enough for me. It looks fine. Yeah, 
yeah, it's kind of nice to play solo and uh, not have to worry about night. I can just advance time. Although, like I said, most of my hours last couple months has been switch on hard mode where you can't advance time. So that's a little different. It's refreshing to play um, normal mode. I feel like I can be more risky, make more mistakes, because I can always just recover for free. Which is why I felt like playing this one early in the morning. Nice, uh, relaxing change of pace to start my day. Um, or start off relax, I should say. So I think the plan is I'm going to check out what's needed for this, then get the trailer back, turn it in, and then see how many bridges I want to fix after that. Because at that point it might be quick, it might take a while, but it will be a good start for another stream to uh, finish the rest of the bridges and start doing other missions. Yeah, exactly. The night cycle is pretty rough in this game. Pretty dark. In Mudrunner, the funny... I don't know if you ever... I guess you said you've never played other games, but um, Mudrunner, at night, most of the time, I just would leave my lights off. They had like a, a system where basically your eyes adjusted or it simulated that in the game. So if you just kept your lights off, you had like night vision, you could see pretty good. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Um, you could see better with your lights off than with them on, usually. Okay, so this truck is able to do this, sort of, even with mud tires. <laughs> good to know. Probably not with the trailer, that would have gone disastrously, but... Pretty good. Alright, let's just make sure what this is. Wooden planks and service bars, okay. Alright, well... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I, I this wasn't a problem before. You notice this glitch? Oh, oh, it just went away. I, I selected this mission, and the other one was still highlighted, but now it stopped. It took a few seconds. It's interesting. Um, oh yeah, it was over here. Nope, that's not it. There it is. Uh, okay. I don't know why it snaps to the far side of the map. That's another odd glitch. Anyway, um, one of my next streams of this game will be me making a map. It's not going to be like an amazing perfect map, but it'll be me figuring out some of the mechanics that I want to put in my map. Um, I, I think I've always wanted to make a desert map, and I think one of the year two DLCs will be desert. So <laughs> it might not matter too much. Um, yeah. Uh, because there's going to be an official desert map that's probably going to be much better. And there's lots of um, mod maps that I kind of want to try just to make sure I'm not retreading the same uh, path that they did. I want to make something that's, even if it's small, I want it to be worthwhile for people that download it. Um, so that it has a unique experience that people will want to play that they can't get anywhere else. Oh, this didn't turn out well. Let's see, what's the better way across this? Uh, here? And then go on, no. I guess I should've just stuck by the water line a little bit more. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, that's recovered. Alright, well maybe I should try something different. 
kind of curious how these will handle this. Won't be able to use a different trailer, but I'll just take a different one. Never know which which uh, of these trailers to take. I hate this one, <laughs> but I think I'll take it anyway. A light trailer sounds like a good plan because the heavy ones tend to have a lot of problems. Plus, I can use this with my other truck. the stream has been relatively smooth. It looks like it had some drop frames, but um, noticing it's snowing now, that tends to uh, destroy the stream bitrate pretty bad. So we shall see. Oh, I, I forgot this has it. Oh wait, why am I using this truck? This isn't the right truck. I'm like, wait a minute, why is this engageable? I meant to, uh... Wait, did I never buy that? Maybe I sold the wrong truck. Let's sell this truck. Oh, I just turned level 20. That's right, I was thinking of hard mode. This is a different save where I hadn't bought it yet. Yeah. No, it's rank 22. Well, never mind. Try this one. Doesn't look like it'll be too good, but maybe I should go chained. It's probably safer, even if it's not as good in uh, mud. Probably will need that. Oh, this can have saddle low. Oh. And a sideboard bed. Wait, did that go or turn off? Oh, it was already on. Okay. Well, I'm full of money. Oh, actually, I left the trailer. Now let's go pick up that one. Yeah, this is a weird truck. I haven't used this one much at all. Completely embedded in the mud. Wow, yeah, my front end. Very front heavy. <laughs> Not even moving. Well, I'll give this one more try. There might be a reason why many people use this. Looks like it has a, a very bad tendency to get stuck in the middle, like any trees, um, in the gaps, which tends to make most trucks like that unusable, other than on roads. You know, that might be the role for this truck. Like in Alaska, it'd be a great Alaska truck. Because there's a lot of uh, icy roads that you have to drive on. And it has enough traction to get through mud. A crane truck? Yeah, this is probably a pretty good crane truck. But I guess I'll learn the hard way what rolls I want to use it for. <laughs> what am I even doing? Let's just attach. Trying to think what my favorite large crane truck is. 
Um, I did a recovery on stream. I should go watch that again and remember. I think I ended up using my um, Taiga... Or maybe the Taiga flipped and I didn't want to recover so I brought something. Whatever this is. Yeah, my Paystar. Paystar is pretty good. It's funny that in hard mode, I remember International being good, but I bought the wrong one. I used it for all of Michigan, because it was pretty good, the International HX. But uh, the Paystar is what I actually wanted, because it's the one in this playthrough I found to be really good. Very true, yeah. Everyone uses trucks differently. And will like how they fit roles differently. I tend to try to go with the, the shorter trucks so that they can make it through tight passes without getting stuck on things. Because that tends to be my least favorite part of the game, is getting like really stuck in between trees. Um, it may be flipping over, so I try to go for stable, short trucks that are very boxy. Um, or at least you can put a sideboard bed on them so that they are less likely to get trees stuck in them. I think the biggest difference between uh, players is what scouts they like. There's a lot of scouts in this game. And in many ways, they do a lot of the same things. Like, it, you can scout a whole map with almost any of the scouts. Um, it just depends on what you prefer. Like, I did the Tartaran for this map because I've grown to like it. Um, I can be kind of risky with it. And it can take a lot of damage and doesn't flip easily. But um, I have a soft spot in my heart for the the Chevy, the starter Chevy. That one could be real fast, and that could be a lot of fun to go scouting in. Yeah, like the um, what is it called? There's the one scout that's like bigger. Um, I think it's a base game scout. The loads, not the load star. The the other thing. <laughs> That's an American truck that's uh, a bit longer. It looks like a utility truck. That one can be pretty fun as a, like a maintenance truck. Um, and it can equip a, uh, a crane even, a small crane. So it fits, it's like a mini truck. Kind of nice. Ooh. I think it's the first time I've experienced cracking without breaking through in this game. That's pretty cool. Alright, so the question is, what's the best way to get over there? <laughs> I could go the extra long way. Oh boy. Ooh, I might be able to get a sniper from the top with my... Yeah, I probably should have gone that way. Now that I'm over here. Um, Ford 750. Yeah, see, I, I haven't... I don't even think I've gotten it on this playthrough yet, the 750. It's in like, um, one of the DLC maps. But I remember thinking it's pretty cool. It just has a fun scout, so I should probably get it sometime soon. Uh, there's nothing to winch onto. So I don't think that's a safe place to try to jump the gap. I guess I'll just have to go around. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. I might just leave this here. Because I'm going to be fixing this bridge pretty soon anyway. And I have a low saddle. So it's not necessary right now. In, uh, in this playthrough, the, uh, the bandit is my favorite maintenance truck. I use it for fuel and uh, maintenance points. Well, I guess I'm gonna go this way. I 
in uh, my hard mode playthrough, I've since the beginning I've used the Fleet Star as my maintenance truck, and I just don't have the heart to sell it. And even after a bunch of my trucks got deleted, for some reason it just doesn't get deleted. And now I have two because it duplicated. So I don't know. I guess I'll just keep it forever as a, uh, a fuel and maintenance truck. Police cars are just so good on roads. Um, very fuel efficient for a truck. You can serve multiple roles. So, very solid early game truck that I just don't want to give up. Uh, Alright, don't fall through. Okay. I'm starting to fall through. <laughs> okay, well, now I know you can drive on the, the harder ice right by the water, even with something as heavy as this, so that's good to know. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gonna be another hot day here in America. Over 100 degrees every day. Not looking forward to that, but uh, I think I'm like starting to feel the heat from outside, even though it's only like 8:30 right now. The sun's coming up, heating up the world. Yeah, one of my Twitch friends uh, lives in Oklahoma, so I get updates from her about how it's been there. My family lives in California, so. Extremely hot there. Alright. So what's the plan? I mean, it looks bad from here. Maybe I should try to just go up that way. I could probably grab a tree up there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go up this way. And all this because I hesitated in going this way the first time. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look passable for this. I mean, I have the advanced heavy, or special, or whatever it's called. I guess it's heavy for uh, winches. So I can probably reach. Oh, I almost had it. And now, I can selectively. Oh, I still can't reach it. I'm trying to get that tree right in the middle. Now I can selectively handbrake. Well, let's start with this. Oh, killed whatever that tree was, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Oh, I was selecting. That's why it wouldn't work. Um, we're going to try to make this work. If I can get that tree on the upper part, on the left, that might work. But i got to get a good angle. Oh, it's like so close. That, is that a real tree? Hard to see. Oh, I had it for a second. I should have hand brakes. <laughs> Get me up this rock. Okay, that might be enough. Hey, look at that. Okay, at least hand brake. Whole winch. Alright, I think this is gonna work. This winch is so powerful. There we go. I can always detach and drag the trailer up if I need to 
let's see. Um, okay, handbrake release. Gotta be careful. Ah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> okay, I think we're in the clear. Almost. Just need a little bit more. There we go. Okay, handbrake, release. Winch. That one. Alright. Alright. My plan is working. So far. Let's go... Oh, I can't reach that one. I'm trying to go up the hill. I guess we'll have to do with this. Alright. Get my tire up here. Yeah, sometimes reversing will give me a little bit more leverage. Eh, it's going well. Okay, what if... I winch sideways a little bit just to get up on this rock a bit more. There we go. Alright, so if I can keep it here, I think I did it. Almost. The problem is, is the line is going straight through the rock. So it's trying to pull me into the rock rather than on top of it. Now none of my tires are touching. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nope. Oh wait. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, well let's let's pull the back end. Let's try a few different things. Um, another trick of mine is pulling the back end forward when you don't have a good winch point ahead of you for the front of your truck, just pull the back forward. And that, uh, where's... Here, I'm gonna use the mouse for this, because I can't find my winch point. Uh... Huh. <laughs> That's weird. The engine... It must be, uh, the glitch where... If you have a controller that you're using and you try to switch to mouse then it wasn't showing winch controls at all and it didn't let me release because I wasn't connected to anything so that's, that's a little weird. Okay, this is almost working. Here we go did it. Okay, I have to be careful not to flip. Let's release, attach. Yeah, who needs roads? Just climb over the mountains. Okay, as I almost flipped myself. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't reach that. Maybe with the back? There's a pole over there. That would be nice to have. This will work. Hey! And now... <laughs> my buttons are so off. So I'm so used to switch and you can't swap A and B and X and Y on SnowRunner, but on Switch the buttons are swapped. So I can't make it consistent between the consoles. All right, yeah, it's surprising that this massive truck with big gaps for trees to fit in somehow that works. <laughs> but uh, that was my determination to not drive around to the other side of this island. It's an interesting little section. around it in the future. Yeah, sometimes I, I, I like creating my own dumb challenges, like climbing up a rock face for no good reason, just because it's slightly shorter, I guess. 
um, or I'll take the intentionally more difficult route for a task, the one that's more direct or more dangerous. Makes the game a little bit more fun. Because then I can say, wow, I accomplished that in the dumbest way possible. <laughs> Climbing up the side of the mountain. See, I wish, um, what was the other way? This way. So I ended up coming up here, but over here, I really wanted that way to work, but with this truck, it wasn't looking likely. Because if you could winch onto that tree right there, you could probably pull up that cliff face. You just need a long enough winch and a small enough truck to get by the bottom part. Alright, well, let's see what we got. I'm like thinking, I'm like, wait, okay. For a second, I'm like, wait, I have a high saddle, but no. This is a weird truck where it's allowed to have a low saddle, even though it's a massive truck. Makes it so it has a slightly different role than the other big trucks. Why do I keep looking at this? I, uh, I just need to go here. I keep thinking, like, oh no, I don't have a uh, crane, but this is easy mode. I don't need a crane. Oh, a little bit of everything. Wow, yeah, you're right, that does make things easy. Easier for this uh, set of contracts. It's funny how they have that in this game. Like, uh, free trailers or certain contracts that will make things easier for other contracts or tasks. But uh, it's just not advertised well in the game. You just have to know about it. And I really wish they would go back to the launch version of the game in that um, anytime you cleared a, a watchtower, it would automatically add every contract that was visible to your list so you could see what was necessary. But now everyone has to go on um, Map Runner if they want to know what's in a task before they get to it. It's a bit of a shame. There's no really good reason why it has to be this way. I, maybe for like in-world reality, like you had to go talk to the person directly in order to know what they said. Something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's a good reason. Oh, there's more. <laughs> We are not done yet. Oh, but it's from here as well. Ooh. Can't believe I did 114 damage in one shot to my suspension. But this is normal mode, so damage isn't that big a deal. Oh yeah, the task, that's another thing that they could improve on. Uh, they, they made it slightly better, like with some of the log missions I remember are in multiple stages, but you get to see all of the stages in the um, menu at least. But yeah, you're right. Like that, the one I just did, it just didn't tell me that I would need service parts afterward. Like there's no reason why that should be hidden. It doesn't make any logical sense to trucking. Like the workers know what they need next um, and it's just frustrating for players to uh, not be able to plan ahead like at the very least they could have just put it on the uh, menu in the spot for um, like I was mentioning with the log missions, it'll have it. It won't show up on your HUD while you're playing, but you can still see it in the menu for each phase. They did that too for some of the, um, like I mentioned, the, the big drill mission in uh, Michigan. 
originally you just did each step and it was a mystery what, what came after but now uh, it'll at least list it on the menu so it won't track it for you on the map but you can see what you'll need next and like, <laughs> they should just really do that for all the other missions kind of weird that they did it for some and not the others maybe it's because people complained about a specific mission so they fixed it so people need to go give more feedback and be like hey can you do that for all the missions I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> mess this up in the, the maximum way possible. I keep trying to just push it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just damage everything. Um, if I can pull the other way. Let's just attach at this point. Well, it is interesting how these uh, slabs are arranged. Makes this not as straightforward as it should be. <laughs> My tire's really stuck? What am I stuck on? The trailer? Nothing's visually stuck. The front edge? No? Weird. Um. Yeah, it's getting weird. I don't know. Okay, at this point it's probably my back tire. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the trailer, maybe? <laughs> okay, I'm free. Yeah, destroying my uh, fuel supply. Not the best move. Wow, so I really, really got that stuck sideways, didn't I? It's kind of funny. Yeah, hitboxes are are not great in this game. Um, they try with the engine, but uh, it's just too much for it. Yeah, I think my front end is it's a little ladder or something. I'm, I'm just trying to ram the trailer at this point, but uh, I'm like stuck because I popped so many tires. Well, that helps. Wow, I'm like really gonna run out of fuel. It's going down so fast. Not a big deal. I'll just do it again. With a different truck. Yeah, I think this is pretty dead. I'm not gonna get this in time. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, a lost cause. It was fun at least. Alright, well. And I don't need a crane. We'll do this real quick and probably call it there. Um, do both these bridges if I can and then end. Good time to uh, get my day going. I am tempted one of these days to uh, make a new save file to try out some of the, the sillier mods, like giant trucks and stuff. I am curious and even uh, make my own, see what's possible in the mod maker trucks. I mean, judging by other people's mods, it's pretty open-ended. Doesn't mean it's going to be balanced or not glitchy, 
that you could just scale everything up and make it huge. I noticed too when people play with mods, a lot of the mods are much more uh, balanced to be easy as far as damage, which is interesting. I kind of want to see how that works. It might give me more insights into how damage is calculated and how uh, bumpers work, if they do. Because um, I remember I loaded, I managed, so I did this off stream, but. I made a map, put a truck in it, and then drove around in development mode, which lets you spawn more trucks at will to test them out and stuff. And uh, I'm trying to think, when I was in the editor, I think it does show the uh, hitboxes for the, the provided trucks. So I'm curious if to load that up and see if I can see what bumpers do. Because you can just load a bumper on. Um, every add-on, everything is in the editor. Um, I don't know how to get the default maps in the editor. I don't think that's possible, or they don't they don't want you to have it be possible. I'll probably find a way. Um, I'm very curious to just edit the existing maps to make them a little bit different. That sounds like an interesting thing to do. Um, give some more insight into some areas on games maps. I know some people have already published um, mods that are like basically quote unquote fixed versions of the uh yeah I was hoping it wouldn't happen of the in-game trucks. Um let's see yeah, I probably should have gone a different way anyway. Yeah I should go this way. That's what I wanted to do the first time, but I had forgotten. So yeah, there's a lot of exploration to do, considering this is one of my favorite games. It could be fun to uh, make some videos about modding the game or uh, understanding what's going on in, in the base game. Because I don't see that too much. I haven't searched for it too hard, but um, I haven't seen any technical breakdown videos for this game. A lot of people will give their impressions, their reviews, stuff like that. Not so much um, tutorials or like in-depth breakdowns and like I said like just in this stream I've mentioned a handful of things that I haven't seen anybody talk about online when it comes to this game and there's probably a lot of people that have thought about it or figured fun things out they just don't create content to tell people about it so as long as I'm gonna be streaming I might as well start exploring some of that stuff like uh, the bumper thing, or uh, I might do more experimenting with some physics stuff. Yeah, this game looks great on PC. Um, big upgrade over Mudrunner too, but uh, it's good enough for me. Like I playing American Truck Simulator, which came out years ago um, it was always meant to be like pretty low quality or able to run on low-end computers and then having this game it's like night day difference for the level of detail with the lighting and the effects the environments weather looks so much better in this game like look at that lighting just barely glinting off of my truck it's, um, I forget what they call that, uh, it's like the ambient, uh, reflections. Indirect lighting is, um, like ray tracing, I guess. 
Although this might be cheating it a bit, not actual ray tracing. It's just like a, a dull light source coming from that direction instead of actually simulating where the sun is. But it does change somewhat realistically, like now I'm behind the building and I have a, a shadow from that direction on my truck. Alright, so the sun's over there though. So the shadows are a bit off. But it's pretty close. Yeah, a good reason to play this game forever is how good it looks. Why do I even go up the hill? I could probably just drive on that ice over there. Something to try out for next time. See if I can survive the ice over there. <laughs> the fun little gap. Love it. Oh, I turned too far. <laughs> I knew at the last second. I'm like, oh, my tire turned further than I meant. Well, I guess right now will be the time I test it out. Taiga becoming one of my favorite trucks very quickly. Although I'm using, I should probably switch to snow chains because it has a, a dually configuration for snow chains. It doesn't for uh, these mud tires. So, yeah. Yeah, this game definitely requires some patience. Something I forget sometimes when I recommend it to people. A lot of times they just want things to be straightforward with no no mistakes or setbacks. And they, uh, a lot of video games nowadays really cater to people not having too much of a challenge or having unexpected things happen. But this game just kind of lets you deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm getting mesmerized by the... I have snow on one side and mud on the other. It's just getting flung all around. Interesting how the snow particles look pretty weird. It's like powder snow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 15 minute task with a shortcut? Definitely not. Uh, I learned that the hard way in um, Smithville, Smithville Dam. There's that mission along the, the coastline with the mountain ridge. And uh, you can try driving down by the coastline, or you could try taking up the mountain. And I'm like, well, up the mountain is shorter, so I try that about, you know, several different times, several hours, until finally I just take it the longer way around. Um, and then later, a different playthrough, I realized you could just, if you want to take the extra safe route, if you're worried about flipping, you just go over the, the lake itself, drive over the rocks in the lake, and uh, you can go that way. So I did that for hard mode because it's a lot safer. But yeah, sometimes it's fun to try the shortcut because it feels like uh, you accomplished something tricky or that you weren't supposed to, even if it takes longer. All right, I gotta learn how to take this jump better. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, that's a cliff. We're going this way. I remember in Mud Runner, um, I, I went back recently and played a few maps of Mud Runner, and <laughs> it was amazing to me how much easier it is in that game to total your truck just from hitting rocks and stuff and trees. Like one bad hit and your your engine is totaled, you can't even drive. 
So at least this game is much more forgiving than that game. Um, they learned at least some from their mistakes, even though people still complain about all the uh, unnecessary damage from tiny rocks in the road. Um, or floating rocks. Floating rocks don't seem fair when they uh, don't start on the road properly and hit you in the cab. Or get stuck in your engine. All right, we're finally here. Let me do this real quick. I'm gonna push this out of the way, pull it out. Sure. What do I care if I waste some parts? This is easy mode. difficult. Uh, maybe it'll do that. We also pull it to the side a little bit. Let's do that. Press the wrong button. Gotta get used to separate controls for release. Oh, well, I can just pull that side. There we go. I just noticed how much snow is accumulating on my truck. That's pretty cool detail. I always forget about that. That little effect looks good. Yeah, and on the trailer too. Yeah. After this, I'll probably have to uh, do metal beams again anyway. Might as well do them both at once after this. Okay, we're gonna take the long way around. Yeah, the stream probably looks pretty bad right now with the uh, snow coming down. Gonna make it nice and blurry. Yeah, I'm starting to learn the nuances of the roads on this map, which is nice. And I really should switch to uh, snow chains. It's almost as good. I, I'm pretty sure these are really some of the best in the whole game for mud tires. But they may not be needed. Another one, sawmill, I haven't even looked at yet, but I bet it starts with metal. Yeah, the snow looks so nice. I love the little sparkles in the snow and how the tracks look you drive through it. It's very nice. The snow clinging to the tires, that's a nice touch. Especially that it's uh, tire dependent. So if on one side I'm driving the snow and the other I'm not, it only affects one side. Nice little details like that. Like 
Yeah, that just looks so good. The one little section I drove in mud, now they they have mud on them too. So nice. Uh, what? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, oh, there's two sides, that's why. <laughs> I was really confused. I'm like, I just got metal, but uh, apparently that's a different section. Alright, here we go. I also like this tire style. I did the the hub. Well, I guess there's no hubcats, but the the wheel style, where you can see the um, I forget what you call it, but they have like a these are the tires that you can like use a built-in tool to remove. They don't require anything extra to make it easier to take off. So it's got that like uh, arm that's bent in. Or folded in. Something like that. It's a military tire thing that I don't know too much about. But it's for making it easier to replace a tire. With minimal tools and time. <laughs> My one flat tire got a lot of snow. Wow, these are worth a ton of money. Like, with how easy this task was. Like, what's happening? There we go. Cargo management. That's what I want. Like. Alright, one more trip. And then I'll end the stream. At least now I can drive around a bit. Go clear that landslide next. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I try to drive on that and uh, it did not go well. Now I'm on a timer to uh, not run out of fuel. Dropping one fuel every second. All right, can I do it? No, I don't have time to get stuck in flat tires. out for those made to shred tires all right fast 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 ah, that's not what I meant I guess we're keeping that in here um, oh it's in the other one but yeah I don't want to waste that so we're just gonna leave it there Excuse me. I would like some cargo, please. <laughs> now the game is just trolling me. I'm on a very strict time limit, and it does not want to uh, 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 give me the cargo, please. This is frustrating. Okay, it had to come at it from a different angle. Uh, Alright, enough messing around. Should have just enough time to get there.
Wow, 59 damage. Yeah, I have to be careful on this map. But I don't have time to be careful now. Alright, that turned out pretty good. That would have destroyed my fuel tank if it wasn't already destroyed. Alright, this is it. Okay. So we got a couple landslides to clear. Alright, well, next time, let's uh, recover and the stream. Alright, thanks for being here, Mountain Lion. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Service trucks might be needed for this map, especially uh, some of these areas. It'll be more effective to do that, or um, at least the trailers. I might just dr grab a few trailers and drag them over to wherever I'm going. So I always have something for uh, tires and points. But yeah, thanks for being here at the stream. Hope you had a good time. And uh, yeah, in the future, be some other games some co-op eventually and uh, my YouTube has a pretty large playlist now of me playing this game so check it out if you haven't um, Molotov 2112 on everything but uh, yeah have a good day everybody <laughs>